Hello. In this video we're going to talk about how to update your measure values manually using the two manual update methods in scoreboard or quickscore. So you've created your scorecard. What you need to do now is make sure that you have users in the right groups so that they can update measures. So let's talk first about groups and permissions and what that means. In the administrator group, you have these two permissions. Update all viewable KPI actual values and update all viewable scoring threshold values. And you've got those same identical permissions in the performance manager groups too. Update all viewable KPI actual values or update all viewable scoring threshold values. Those permissions only apply to being able to use the overview screen for updating measure values. So when you look at the scorecard you've created, you can look at any individual measure on the overview screen. And on the overview screen you've got a set of information called actual and threshold values. And you have here the option to update that measure or KPI value by clicking on the update KPI value. Now this is a monthly value and I'm looking at July 2010. I can enter the actual value. I have permission to update all viewable thresholds so I can update the red flag or goal value and then I can save it. One feature is that you can use the calendaring option to update more than one period. If I decide to look at this measure, this KPI, in yearly mode, and I look at all of 2010, now you notice I'm using the calendaring feature to click, change my frequency calendar, and then go to that frequency. Now what you see is that I can update that KPI one month at a time throughout the entire year. And if I were to change my calendar view to a quarterly view for instance, I'd be able to update my KPI or measure value in any one of those quarters. So this permission, the permission that tells you that for an administrator or a performance manager group that you can update all viewable KPI values, applies specifically to updating values through the overview metrics screen. The other way to update measures is to use the update KPI or update measures form when you log into the application. In order to use that you have to be specifically assigned to measures to update them upon login. This is most often used for application users. When you look at an application user group you see absolutely no reference to updating KPIs or updating measure values if you're using QuickScore. And the reason for that is that the application users automatically have the right to update any measures if they're assigned to specifically update those measures. They never have the right to change values by updating measures through the KPI or measures update screen. So let's take a look at a user. We have users here and we have one user which is Sam Updater. So what we want to do is put Sam Updater into the Update East Coast KPIs group. And we would have done that by selecting Sam from the list and then clicking add users. So Sam is now part of that group. How does Sam now get the ability to update measures through the update measure form? We go to the owners and updaters screen, we choose the east coast plant and we say we want to select an updater and now we're looking at Sam updater. So I select Sam and now I say I want him to update all of these measure values when Sam logs into the application. 
So I click all those values. I could have also just selected click all, unclick all, click all. I'm not going to allow Sam to update any of the threshold values. So I save that and now I log into the application as Sam. So I log off the application as myself. And now I log in as Sam. Now when I log into the application, I have this update my KPIs option. I select update my KPIs, and now I see all the KPIs I was assigned to update. And I can go through here now and update these KPIs. They happen to be updated already, I'll change one value. And when I click update my KPIs, those KPIs are now updated. So that trick I showed you earlier of changing the calendar so you can update multiple measures works exactly the same when you're using the Update Measures screen. So if I go to a yearly screen for 2010, what you see now is that I can update each one of those measures one month at a time, all the way through to the end of the year. This is particularly useful if someone is updating the scoring thresholds for months in the future. And you can also use this same functionality if you're going to assign a performance manager or an administrator as an updater. Performance managers and administrators can only access the update measures or update KPIs forms if they've been assigned through the same method that I showed you earlier in the video. So that's it, it's as simple as that. After you create your scorecards, then go into the application and make sure that you have the ability, if you're a performance manager or administrator, to update all viewable measures, KPIs or thresholds. If you want to access the update measures form, then assign yourself to those measures through the owner's updater's assignments. If you have any questions, then please email us at support at And thanks very much. Have a nice day.